So let's give them a little bit of a, of a recap of that Crenshaw De La Salle game. Um, I'm sitting behind the camera. I went to Crenshaw. You know what I'm saying? He went to De La Salle. Coming into that game, we knew exactly what you said. This is going to be a fundamental team. What were some of the things that you guys were made aware of before we stepped out on the field that day? And I'm going to give you a little bit more of a reason why I felt like we actually lost. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. Uh, so, watch the film. I, I can remember watching film of y'all. Like, the first thing first was the speed was out the roof, man. Y'all had, you know, guys like DeAnthony. You had Greg Decree. Yeah. Big Hayes Marcus, Pilar, you had Hayes yeah. Pilar, yeah. you had, uh, Marcus, yeah. Every, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. had a team full of this ballers, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and that's what we showed uh, on the film, like I was telling you earlier, we watched the game when y'all played at SC, yeah. and it was a muddy, rainy game, I forget who y'all was playing, Played against Norbon, yes. Okay, Norbon, yeah. and y'all was moving, yeah. moving, in a yeah. muddy, rainy game, and, you know, the Coliseum, and... Y'all was just balling. And I think about the other running back y'all had, 33, and forget his Jeffrey name. Norwood, Jeffrey yeah, Norwood. Jeffrey He was running through shit. Yeah. The whole game, like, yeah. he was breaking at least two, three tackles every play. Mm -hmm. Or every every run, he got every time he got the ball. Mm -hmm. So we knew, like, we were dealing with a team that was uh, highly, highly athletic, fast, built. And it was just a good team. Y'all pretty much ran through it. We looked at the scores. Y'all really ran through everybody the whole season. Facts, yeah. So... And I think that was your first time that Crenshaw had been, uh, or any kind of city school in LA had, had been, been to the state. state. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, being a story program, I'm gonna say the one thing I feel like y'all had an advantage over us is because y'all were experienced mm -hmm. and we were tired. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, mentally, a lot of our team was tired. During the city game, when they made the announcement that we was going to the state, people was like, oh my God, here we go again. Mm -hmm. But we used to practice from three to seven. <laughs> so we used to be whooped, bro. So for them to say we had an extra game, a lot of our team was tired. And I feel like y'all took advantage of just being there and knowing that it was okay and it's going to be a long season. Yeah, and they cut you, I'm sorry to cut you no, off. Like, like you said that the experience, like when we got our schedule or our getting ready for the year, like, we knew our game, our season didn't end until December 20th. Like, we knew, no, like, knew it, yeah. we are, we, we not finishing at Thanksgiving. We're yeah. not finishing the first <laughs> week of December. Like, yeah. we was, you know what I mean, prepared to play that last game of the year. Right. And now, like, like I said, the foundation was already set. Yeah. This is how we, go, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. So right. it's funny you say that, like, experience, but, like, we had already been to the, I think my, my senior year, so we had already been to the state game four years prior to that, in a row. Oh my gosh, four yeah, years yeah. in a row. Talk yeah. about that experience. And down 14 nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down 14 yeah, I jumped nothing, on us quick. And, and bang, to go bang, bang. on to score 28 unanswered points, right? What was the mood like on the sidelines when y'all down 14 nothing? And then explain to us how things changed when y'all went all the way up by 28. So, like I said, to you earlier, y'all jumped on us quick. Yeah, it was 14-0, I think, in the first quarter. Like, yeah. the first, yeah. I want to say, five, six minutes of the quarter. Like, yeah, And I want to get his spill on this. I want to because we're going to have more Crenshaw players <laughs> who get their spill. I, I got to uh, get your spill. So, so y'all was uh, y'all went up quick. And I think our team was shell-shocked to be down that two tugs mm -hmm. that quick. Yeah. Uh, but we knew it was a long game. Yeah. You know what I mean? And usually how we like to play we like to wear and tear and grind on teams and that's exactly until, what y'all did until we get to the fourth quarter yeah. we gotta break away yeah because we're a well-conditioned team yeah um and i think it was the second quarter it was 17 it was 14 to 7 yeah. and uh my boy ty had broke away for like a 40 50 yard 50 yarder for the for the end zone and the anthony went to chase him down and when he would chase uh -huh. him down he rolled his ankle yeah. uh and he really never played it played a little bit I guess like as a uh, uh, the Anthony was out after that. No, no, but he he played a little bit as like a um, what do you call it? Like a distraction. Like yeah, a, yeah, I forgot. I know what you're talking. About. Yeah, he came in like stuff left like that, but he yeah. didn't really play like he was playing. Yeah. Um, and so it was starting 14, 14, mm -hmm. and you know that big threat that one hit home run was kind of gone. Yeah. So we really could focus on like the other running back. I forget his name. I keep forgetting his name. Jeffrey Norwood. Jeffrey Norwood. We could yeah. focus on him, you know, gang tackle him, and then really shut the passing game, passing game down. Yeah. So it became the game plan, I think, for y'all shrunk, not having DeAnthony out there. Yeah. And we, like I said, we took advantage of, you know, being a well-conditioned team. And like I said, hit after hit, rare and tear after quarter. I think that kind of just broke away. 
And I can tell you that, game. I can tell you that weight room definitely played a part in that. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man. I tell you, I was strong. One of the funniest things I heard, I heard a guy, one of y'all players say he was scared because he had, he was scared to play us because he had watched uh, Boys in the Hood. So I guess they had, I guess some people had that kind of con con misconception about yeah, yeah, who yeah. we were. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. So.